in our current situation, uh, it is very unlikely that we can eradicate or eliminate this virus. If we want to avoid, uh, after lockdown, having major epidemics, we need to watch out for the small uh, clusters and we need to extinguish those clusters quickly. We all need to remain vigilant. We need to remain vigilant with our physical distancing, with our hygiene, with mask wearing in the appropriate settings. In that situation, we can potentially avoid the worst of having second peaks and having um, um, to have to move backwards in terms of lockdown. Aerosol transmission is one of the modes of transmission that we have been concerned about since the beginning. But um, the dominant route of, of transmission from all of the available evidence and our understanding and working with large groups of, of different um, uh, disciplines um, collectively is droplet in contact, although there may be other modes of transmission which we we don't rule out. I have a question from Simon Ateba from Today News Africa, who I understand has a burning question. But I think that there are a number of therapeutics that are in development that will will uh, cover different aspects of the disease, um, whether they are you know the prevention of, of developing more severe disease or preventing people from dying. Um, but there are a lot that are that are currently underway, and there's a huge number of clinical trials.